How does each type of spiritual experience work? Part 4 Trance A trance is a half-conscious state, characterised by an absence of response to external stimuli. An entranced person thus does not have to be unconscious when entranced. The most common state is a half-conscious state in which reaction to the environment is diminished, but awareness is not impaired and it appears to be the ideal state to receive a spiritual experience. A person in a state of trance may receive all sorts of things. Inspiration, healing, wisdom, divine love, bliss and peace. The ability to hear celestial music, the ability to invent things the idea for a painting, or a sculpture, a poem, a book, the solution to a problem. They may obtain siddhis, such as the ability to run in a supernatural way, or walk on fire, or ignore cold. Perhaps superhuman strength, the ability to levitate or even fly. An entranced person thus has no idea what will happen. But generally they receive what they need at the time and often what they inadvertently asked for. So a trance will provide you with a spiritual experience but the type is never controlled by you. Some benign activities that will produce a trance state. Our website www.allaboutheaven.org and the videos we have on our sister channel show that there are numerous ways in which this trance state can be achieved. For example, those activities for which we have a video and an entry on the website include hypnotherapy, sensory deprivation, rocking, swaying and swinging, relaxation, listening to beating sounds, communing with nature, enacting ritual and ceremony, suppression of learning, and here methods such as chanting play a key role, controlled breathing, listening to music. Swirling, whirling, spinning and twirling. These are benign activities, likely to produce a constructive experience. Overload activities may also produce a trance, although the type of experience produced may be nowhere near as predictable or constructive. some overload activities that will produce a trance state. At one time, these overload activities were deliberately used by shamanic societies and religious groups. And indeed, they do produce a trance condition. The 
The only problem is the type of experience produced. The Bhagavad Gita, translated by W.J. Johnson. You should know that men who undertake extreme ascetic practices, enthralled to exhibitionism and egotism, driven by the forces of passion and desire, are set on the demonic. Overload activities include befuddling, sleep deprivation, extreme fasting and starvation, and frenetic activity, both dancing and running, and drugs. Befuddling. To befuddle means to confuse or perplex, to confuse the function of reason, to do something which makes it difficult for someone to think clearly. Sleep deprivation. There is a history of sleep deprivation being used by different schools of religious mystics. Christian monks living in the desert during the 4th and 5th centuries were known to deny themselves sleep. Muslim mystics in all-night devotions used to use coffee to keep themselves awake. Fasting and nutritional deprivation Long periods without food or water result in nutritional deprivation. Jean-Pierre Camus Our dear Saint François de Sales disapproved of immoderate fasting. He used to say that the spirit could not endure the body when overfed, but that if underfed, the body could not endure the spirit. Frenetic Exercise Frenetic exercise means pushing the body in physical activity for an extended period of time without rest. During frenetic exercise, blood is diverted to muscles by a process called shunting, but the blood supply to the vital organs of the brain, heart and kidney remains relatively constant. But the brain uses glucose as fuel. And at frenetic levels of exercise, the supply of glucose to the brain diminishes. Drugs. Drugs all work in different ways. But the danger of drugs is that one becomes possessed by the spirit of the drug. We saw this in the videos on shape-shifting, Black Sabbath, Henry Michaud and his communication with terrestrial beings. Other, there are far more overload activities that result in a trance that do so accidentally, and indeed, few people would ever want to repeat them. Why no mention of meditation? The word meditation is used these days as a catch-all name given to a set of techniques. The techniques can differ wildly between vendors, practitioners and teachers, so there is no one technique called meditation. Furthermore, some of the packages of techniques are copyrighted and have names like deep meditation, transcendental meditation, breathing awareness meditation, guided meditation, mindfulness. In January 2023, there were around 60,000 books purporting to teach or be about meditation. As such, it is almost impossible to determine which of these numerous packages actually produce a trance state. Some of them probably will, but some may not. Biofeedback This video would be incomplete if no mention was made of the invaluable work Drs. Alma and Alice Green undertook into biofeedback. Essentially, machines can be used to train the mind to induce the trance state. 
David Scott Rogo, Leaving the Body, A Complete Guide to Astral Projection. The possible discovery of a link between theta waves and the out-of-body experience holds out a very special promise to people who wish to induce this experience. It is possible to learn how to generate theta waves through biofeedback and nurturing such a capability may lead to the development of out-of-body experience skills. Dr. Elmer Green has been studying biofeedback techniques for several years in Topeka, Kansas at the Meninger Foundation, an institute devoted solely to psychological research. He has had singular success in teaching people to control their brain waves, including theta waves. In fact, Green has publicly stated that people who develop control over theta waves start having psychic experiences as a result. <laughs>